Hey y'all, I'm Lawrence. Welcome to the first episode of Nostalgia 100. I'm your humble guest once again, Lawrence, and I'm the Oh, I'm I'm yeah, so so I'm in a funny situation here. So I'm my own guest and my own host, but it's okay. But <clears throat> I work through it because <laughs> I got multiple personalities. So I'm gonna be guest starring as myself. I'm like, hey, that's Lorenzo over there. Hey, that's Malik right there. But they all me. But you know what I mean. But hey, man. So basically, I'm gonna be dedicating this show and talking about old. Uh, sitcoms and old movies and films and things like that just all things nostalgic pretty much and and all things that brought a lot of just goodness uh, in, in their childhood and stuff like that so that's why i had this guy right here mr this is probably my favorite i wouldn't say jason is uh my number one favorite horror movie series but it's definitely up there it's definitely up there um especially it's about to be october i mean you might as well say we in october now and shit all the horror movies are coming on that they keep showing urban legend like it just never came out or something like just nobody's ever saw urban legend or something but and uh it's funny because i actually didn't even see that when it came out i i saw urban legend until the second one came out and uh that's that's how that went with that but october is actually my favorite month man i like <clears throat> How the time goes back, it gets a little cooler. All the horror movies come on. All of them, man. And I hope they do it right this year. And AMC, y'all slipping on y'all Fright Fest. I was a real big fan of y'all Fright Fest uh, when y'all first started. I think y'all first started in 2006. And uh, for, but for the past three to four years, y'all Fright Fest has been kind of weak, man. Let's, let's keep it back going. I like the originals. That y'all had, and I remember y'all used to do the showcase where y'all would uh, showcase Sundance and uh, IFC uh, showings and things like that. Like people putting together their own videos and things like that, and y'all would actually do a, a showcase for that. Y'all need to go back to doing that. I'm not sure if y'all still doing that. I don't think y'all were doing that year before last, but man, that would be nice. Y'all get a real Fear Fest. Uh, fear Fest, that's what it's called. I said Fright Fest, but it's Fear Fest that y'all used to do. And, um, man, as a matter of fact, I remember Walking Dead kind of came out of that whole Fear Fest thing. Because when I came home in 07, and that's when I first saw Fear Fest in 2007. And when I saw that y'all were doing The Walking Dead, and, that, and when that whole thing first came out, I'm like, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Y'all got your own original programming going on. Y'all got that little block uh, circulating going on. And um, I was really heavy on walking dead when it first came out when it first came out i got lost after a while i don't and they started having political figures senators and mayors and all that come in i'm like nah i, I kind of stepped away from it but um as far as any horror shows um it's really not a whole lot of horror shows that i'm messing with right now um like I said, I mean, you know, the star. I go back and watch all the old stuff, man. Like, from it's funny. I, I wouldn't even say I go back. I never stop watching a lot of the old stuff. And I'm just really doing it piece by piece a little bit. Like, uh, for instance, I never saw the whole, uh, what's that, the Friday the 13th show? I never saw that whole series. Ever. Only ever. Three seasons. It's only three seasons? Yeah. Uh, I never saw the entirety of uh, Freddy's Nightmares either. That was like three seasons, right? Two. Two? Okay. I think. Don't, don't, don't quote me on that. I think it's two. As for, man, I remember as a kid when that shit was coming out because I'm like, I, I kind of already knew since I had already been familiar with the movies even then as a kid, I kind of knew it, he probably had his own show, but I'm like, God damn, he scared the shit out of me even more because I'm like, damn, this motherfucker's omniscient now. He's every fucking way. He's all over the fucking place, man. I I remember him one ever like I don't know if the actual series was on, the episode was on, or they were just doing a commercial about the episode. But he was sitting on top of a, a television or something like that. And it was spinning around, and then they had a bunch of, like, uh, tie-dye color behind them, like, kind of the green screen effect. Kinda. And that shit was dope as hell. I'm like, damn, man. I think it was the, the commercial for the show. 
Wasn't it like? Uh, you know what I'm talking about, yeah, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that was a commercial for the show. I, I was right. So, okay. I, so. I remember that then. That was like 90. I'm showing my Early age here. 90. That was like 90, I want to say. I actually remember that. I remember the house we were in and everything, man. And see, if you are not fortunate enough to have an older brother to scare the shit out of you at all, the original stuff back then, like, you really didn't have a childhood that much of a child, man. Or, or older sibling or somebody just scared the shit I see. That's how I was introduced to a lot of horror movies anyway. Because my older brother, he would think it was okay to take a, a three-year-old and uh, lock him. Or, or, or rather, while he's in the bathtub and turn off all the lights and say Tales from the Crypt is in there. <laughs> and then, like, <laughs> all you hear is screaming and laughing down the hallway as, as you're a parent in the room. Couldn't have been the best thing. Couldn't have been the best thing. But I mean, man, you know what? He kind of got me into it, man. I, I, it's, it's still. Don't get me wrong. Even though, as in my adulthood, it's still some movies that I would rather not watch at night. You know what I'm saying? Like Solo. Like for instance, last night I was watching the old Halloween. I, I didn't see. The, I didn't watch the whole thing. But uh, I watched it up until the point of where. Who was that, man? Remember across the street? The, uh, Come with the original? The original. Um, the friend. The friend who used to smack on the phone. and yeah, 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 that friend. I never actually saw that lead in there. Man, you'll be surprised at how many movies I have not seen in its 100% entirety. And Halloween would probably be that. It's not that I haven't seen Halloween. I've seen Halloween. It's just that. You know when you saw something a million times or like it's been on a million times and you never really actually sat down oh. to watch it See, just completely? You're a horror fanatic, but the grandfather of all horror movies, you haven't seen all the way through? Isn't it, isn't it ironic? Isn't <laughs> the irony? I know, I know. I saw the scene. No, 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 no. Take, when it comes down to it. I've seen every piece and bit of footage of Halloween. You're supposed to be a bigger expert on horror movies than me. No, nah, I am. I've seen it. Halloween, I have seen like... it. No, nah, I've seen it. It's just I haven't, like, seen it. It. I'm just, I'm, I'm very disillusioned right now. Nah, man. It's just, it's actually just that one part, that one scene. Next, oh, oh. Thing, next thing you're going to know, uh, I know you're going to say you haven't seen Season of the Witch. I haven't seen it in its whole entirety. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you talking about Halloween season of the witch? Halloween 3. Season, season of the, the witch. witch. Okay, now, uh, that's probably another one. So out of the original Halloween, not counting the Rob Zombie ones, but right. the original ones, how many have you actually seen? No, 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 no. I tell, I tell you, you what. See, you've seen the newer ones, like, I've, like H2O. H2O and yeah, I, I've been forced to watch it. Well, well, even though H2O was my shit. Because I remember when that came out in the I movies. I H2O. You like H2O? H2O, I like Resurrection, too. A lot of people shit on Resurrection. I like Resurrection. Isn't, uh, isn't, isn't Resurrection with Buster Rack? Yeah. And, and, no, wasn't, and, wasn't that H2O? Oh, no, 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 no. She's right, John. But Resurrection is with Buster Rhymes and Tyra Banks. Is it? Yeah. I thought that was As a H2O. matter of fact. H2O was before. LL. Oh, okay, you're right. H2O you're right. had LL in it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. And, and the thing that I like I about Resurrection. those two movies confused. Yeah, a lot of people do. Uh, the, thing, the thing about uh, that I really liked about Resurrect, they brought Jamie Lee Curtis back. And it picks up where H2O left off. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So and Yeah, I was getting them confused. So this is spoilers for anybody who haven't saw it. And, and don't be like me and not have well, the saw the whole original. Come on. It's really but uh, what I really, like I said, I like about it is that they pick up. I love, I don't give a shit how bad any sequel is. When they can pick up where the, the previous, where the predecessor left off and just do its own thing. Whether it's like Alien 3. Well, that's you know what I'm saying? Like it's easy because the story is right there for them. They don't have to work hard at anything. It's that's true. Right there. But but we I want to see how you put that story together though. Yeah, like Alien because Three. Because it's already, the beginning's already given to you. You just need to do the rest. Yeah, but that that doesn't mean you're gonna be successful at it, or that no. doesn't mean you're gonna do it good. No, but it, but it's still kind of already given to you. Yeah, it's a given. But I mean, like I said, take Alien Three for example. Um, and a lot of people to this day, even on the cult following side, they didn't like how. As a matter of fact, nobody even wanted an Alien 3. Nobody really wanted. But the fact that you saw how aliens went, everything that they went through in that, and that's, man, I'm, I'm going to touch on that too. Everything that they went through in Aliens, and then they just kill off Hicks, 
They implant Ripley. They kill off Newt. I mean, come on, man. How do you kill off Newt? And hit? it's just... That Nobody really. It was because all of the aliens was about that, and then immediately you start the next movie, and you just undo everything that. that that's, oh man, that's that's my problem with the Force Awakens. It undoes everything that the first three Star Wars movies did. Really? You can't you can't undo what you worked so hard to do because then it's like, well, then why did I waste my time watching? It? And that's again, and that's why I was telling Ash, like, even though like Ash is one hundred percent correct, like they set everything up in place. Like you would think they set everything up in place. To just take off, you know what I mean, and just have a good sequel. But it's just like you're undoing everything that's been done already. Now I don't like that. Like I said, I do love when a, a story can pick up where it like, cause like Halloween two. Now I probably I've seen Halloween two probably yes in its entirety more than I know. <laughs> shut up, shut up. I don't want to hear it. Stop it. Okay, I've seen Halloween two. In this ent- I don't know, man. I've been a, I'm just a sucker for sequels. I'm a sucker for sequel. No, 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 no. I love the original. Godfather 1, I mean, come on, man. Terminator 1, like, you cannot go wrong with any of those. But I'm a sucker for sequels. It but took. I was Halloween, saying that to myself. Without Halloween, there would be no Friday the 13th. There would be probably be no Friday the 13th. But, man, that sequel, when they were in the hospital, man, no lie. That was scary as shit. Nah, it was, it was legit. Like, Zelda, you're a nurse. They had a lot of nurses in there that night. That's some scary shit. Got movies like that. Well, no, nah, I'm. Well, to be fair, that was 1981, though. So you probably talking about movies who came like <laughs> behind that part two. And I and I also did like that that they didn't wait too long between the first and the uh, second. You know, Jamie, she was still kind of figuratively young. Yeah. You know, even though it was like what shit three years later, three whole years later, they didn't Not wait too long. Didn't do part two, right? He just did part one. No, he did part two. Did he? Yeah. Oh. He did part two. The only ones he did not touch or had no emphasis on, really, I think, was uh, The Witch, obviously. No, fucking Michael Myers didn't even fucking have it. He was producer on part three. Was he? Because he wanted to turn Halloween into an anthology series and have every movie be about something different. Wasn't that the thing in the 80s is to turn everything into a fucking anthology? That, that was the idea, but then Season of the Witch didn't do well. Yeah. And then the higher up said, no, 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 we're going back to Michael Myers. I'm going to tell you something about Season of the Witch. The reason why I think it did not do well is because... there's no Michael Myers. <laughs> there's no Michael Myers. Definitely that. It's because, I mean, why did you call it Halloween? It's because he, he was trying to build on the success of it. I, I mean, and that's fair. That's fair. That's fine. But I, I think he would have done better. And I know they weren't doing that a whole lot back then. Even then, it was unprecedented to start building universes. Or I, I think if he'd have had that in the universe of... Because in my mind, it was always like that. Even though Michael was never connected. And yes, it was how I, I always felt like, yeah, Michael wasn't there. But I felt like it was still in the same universe for some reason. What, or it could have been. Season of the yeah, Witch. Yeah. I feel like it could have played in there. You because say universes didn't exist back then. Um, well, it wasn't common. Universal monsters crossed over with each other. Frankenstein met Dracula. Like, that's that, I mean, that's true. And they all branched off and did their own thing. No, but they I mean, did their own things. That was Avengers before Avengers. They did their own things and then they met. But it wasn't It wasn't a common practice like say it is now. No. Like back then. Like I mean, yeah, you had that back then. But I mean, that's the, we talking about the original. Yeah. You know, that's the yeah, only that's thing you have to base it from. Yeah. yeah, so they wasn't, you I'm know. Saying, you said it was unprecedented. That's a precedent right there. No, I didn't say it was unprecedented. I'm just saying you didn't really have that like that back then. It wasn't, it wasn't really that common. Yeah. And, um, you know, like I said, the, making a miniseries out of everything. Now, that was kind of, that was the thing. But now, just like today, now everybody's seeing the bigger picture. They want to start having universes and everything. And I fucking love that. I love that. That's a fucking great idea. I love having universes and just knowing... You know, and that's why, again, I go back to Alien, because I had such high hopes for Prometheus, but we won't go there. We will not go there, but I just had higher hopes for it, and, you know, that is what that was. But I, I, I still appreciated how it was still all in one universe, or, or expanding on universes, rather. But, um, yeah, the, the problems I had with the witch, the only problem is, like I said, they just called it Halloween. I think if they would have called it Season of the Witch, you know what I mean? It would have just been fine, or just called it trick or treat or some shit, or just you know, kid. Trick or treat's a damn good movie, though. It is a good. I told y'all it was a damn good movie, <laughs> boy. That shit was scary as hell. I thought, as far as a uh, modern slasher, 
I throw uh, Trick or Treat up there and I throw Dead Silence up there. What about Hatchet? Hatchet can go up there. I I don't. Mm. Oh, Louisiana, you don't like Hatchet? I like, like the Hatchet. first one. Terrifier, Netflix, Terrifier. See, I haven't saw that one yet. I heard I heard it got the clown in it and and things like that, and I hear That's it's kind of creepy. Your favorite movie. I haven't heard of uh, Terrifier. Terrifier. Yeah, I haven't I haven't really got on that one yet, but um, yeah, man. Yeah. What are you talking Netflix about? On Netflix. She said it's on Netflix, ladies and gentlemen. Best thing on Netflix. Um, I'll check it well, out. While you're on while you're on horror slasher films, did you hear about Child's Play? Are you doing a part six? No, they're re- there was there's already seven of them. They're rebooting it, and instead of being a guy who does voodoo to possess a doll, it's a AI that goes wrong and becomes murderous. It sounds like small soldiers to me, man. Like yeah, it, it's just. It's a, it's a word for when you have something original and you take part of its essence away, and it's it's a word for that. But um, it's funny because I was, they they use that in describing when they uh, took out the mom from Family Matters, the original mom Harriet. Oh, and they replaced her. Yeah, I think her name was uh, Mar- Maria Payton. Time. I think. First Prince too, they replaced. The yeah, they replaced. Yeah, they brought in light skin and Viv. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> come on now. <laughs> Like she was cool, she she was fine, but I that mean, was because of her and uh, her well, yeah, her and like Janet Dave, Herbert, right? yeah, her her uh, Janet Herbert and uh Will got into it, and um, man, just just you know even even with that, well, the well, landscape of the show changed. Well, be waste when they replaced uh, Darren with one guy named Dick with another guy named Dick. Really? Yeah. The original B Witch, the old. Yeah, they, oh, they both they both have the same first name. Damn. <laughs> That's crazy, yeah, man. I, I I don't like when they tamper with stuff like that, man. When they they just, I I mean, I get Hollywood might be running out of ideas, but I mean, come on, man. You always got people who who are thinking of new shit and new concepts and new like like you know the 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 terrifier. You know that's even though yeah, people have used clowns before, but I mean maybe people haven't used clowns in that way. You know what I'm saying, oh, like. Or, all right, so yeah, man. If you guys have any topics or anything like that, y'all want to share it or y'all want me to talk about, I mean, I'll definitely do that, and I'll be bringing some old new topics to bring to the table. Again, this is Lawrence. It's been uh, Nostalgia One Hundred. Good night.